we are back with the, another video man this right here y'all been asking me to do it this is the spongebob conspiracy theory by alex bell man part one i got some beautiful ladies on here go ahead and introduce yourself let them know where they can find you at hey what's up i'm e and you can find me at lil.bit.e on instagram and on tiktok hello it's izzy you guys can find me on both tiktok and instagram at <laughs> iss Y B E L L Y Y. Hi everyone, my name is Frida, and you can follow me on TikTok at Smith dot dot E F, or you can follow me on Instagram at Smith underscore Frida G E. And yes, you can follow me right there. Hi, my name is Issa. You can find me on TikTok at Glizzy nine 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 zero zero, and on Instagram at Doug underscore Baby nine nine two Gs and two Is. All right, um, my name is Serenity, but I go by Rin. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok on Rincore. It's R I N C O R E D D. I just released a single if you want to go check that out and the rest of my socials are linked in my bio on TikTok. You guys can go subscribe to my channel. It's gonna be in the description. Hit the like button. Let's go. Squilliam Fancy Son. Squilliam Fancy Son. Squilliam Fancy Son. Squilliam Fancy Son the third is Squidward's rival from high school band class. So, I just took my private yacht across my private lake to my private heliport. <laughs> He's more wealthy, popular, and talented Can than there Squidward. Be lakes he always rubs it in his face. That's right. I'm in the your ocean? dream, Squidward. Oh, just succeeding in everything oh, you so. failed in. But I intend to prove that he's a fraud, using his <laughs> to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is. He goes to ridiculously extreme <laughs> and expensive lengths oh to gosh. humiliate Squidward and show his superiority, and I'm gonna prove it's it. It's the statue. Yeah. I didn't even know it was another was Squidward sad. character on there. <laughs> You didn't know? You did it? I did. No. <laughs> what? I just knew it was I remember like, the other. I remember one episode. You got a little like you, that. bro. Yeah. The the Super Bowl episode. Remember, like they they got to perform and the other team didn't like, and he like rubbed it in Squilliam's face. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I gotta get this. I gotta get this. I'll probably see. I wasn't even allowed to watch SpongeBob growing up. I knew that. SpongeBob is one of my favorite shows from my childhood. Even going back now and rewatching the old ones, it still holds up. You might think it's just a kid's show. There's no continuity. There's nothing worth theorizing about. Oh, but the show constantly privacy. brings back characters and references to previous episodes. And if you look closely, you can connect the dots and find some very interesting stories. And today, I'm going to prove that Squilliam Fancyson the Third is a manipulative fraud. Evidence number one: the <laughs> hospital. Well, he's a we first fraud. meet Squilliam in season two, episode fifteen, Band Geeks. The episode opens with Squibber playing the clarinet and getting a knock on the door. Yeah, uh, this we're with right. the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Immediately after, Squibber gets a call. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying, get out of my face with that. Hello, you've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after the... I believe that not only was Squilliam spying on Squidward to know when he was playing his clarinet, but he also hired the doctor to come and embarrass Squidward. Yeah, uh, mm. we're with the pet hospital down the street. Pet hospital down the street. We have never seen a pet <laughs> hospital in this bikini bottom. We've only ever seen just the regular bikini bottom hospital. We've seen this purple doctor fish before, but once again, he's never worked at a pet hospital. We've only ever seen him at the regular general hospital. Hospital. Well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the suds. Are you ready for your treatment? Then there are oh, 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 only ever seen oh, him as one of the many man. identical paramedics that work at the Bikini Bottom Hospital. We even see him at the end of the episode to take Squilliam away after fainting. So it is what? very likely that Squilliam hired these two and told them to pretend like they're from a pet hospital just to humiliate Squidward. But this is just the start the boys of Squilliam are fried, bro. lies. Evidence number two. I don't think he's a fat. I think he just has episode, a very big William ego. Says, I'm the leader of a big fancy band now, and we're supposed to play the Bubble Bowl next week. The problem is, and I'm miserable. busy next week and can't make it. Let's get so some miserable. I'm hoping you and your band could cover for us. But we've never seen Squilliam's band before, and despite claiming mm, he's too busy so he to make it to the Bubble Bowl, he still shows up at the end to watch Squidward's band. So both his excuse and probably his band and were made up to pressure Squidward into he himself at the bubble bowl. Evidence number three, Squilliam's friends. 
In season three, episode eight, Squilliam returns. Squidward leaves for work and conveniently bumps into Squilliam and all of his fancy friends, despite Squilliam not seeming like the kind of guy that would come near the Krusty Krab. He and his friends make fun of Squidward for working as a cashier. Hold it! Don't tell me! He You're paid them. Cashier. Lying, lying always makes it worse. But I believe that planned out by Squilliam in advance, and he hired all of those people to pretend to be his friends. Take a look at Squilliam's friends. They're all nicely dressed. You kind of get the sense that they're fancy, high-status members of Bikini Bottom. This is more like what the fancy, rich people in Bikini Bottom look like. These are just some regular Bikini Bottom citizens. Most of them usually don't even wear nice clothes like this, and most of them are regulars at the Krusty Krab. Yep, that was pay. He was right. Was the cashier. Mm -hmm. Have we called that out. <laughs> These are not the type of people Squilliam would hang out with. I mean, why would Squilliam be hanging out with one of Pearl's teenage friends? At the end of the episode, Squilliam right. even admits to his whole life being fake. I made everything up about mm. my life. I have no yachts, jets, or anything. I was only trying to impress you. And then, of course, he quickly Dang. says he's just kidding. No. He likes him. He got a crush on him. You really got to make a crush on him, bro. There's no way. It's crazy because I know Didn't I know dudes do y'all did y'all like that before. A dude probably did that for y'all before. Capped out, say he had all this. You know what I'm saying? That's what right, it's The amount of men that say that they're millionaires because of crypto. Oh, me. Like, okay. And. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? a millionaire to a billionaire? Yeah, right. Pull up your crypto right now. <laughs> On me. <laughs> Pull it up. Let me, see. Let me see. Yeah, you're fake. Like... True. Of course not. I'm filthy, stinking rich. But was he kidding? I mean, obviously he's rich. But is there a negative <laughs> truth in there? Evidence number four: the statue. In Season 7, Episode 6, Squidward has to pick up trash for community service, and Squilliam once again conveniently bumps into him and reveals he's cleaned up so much trash that the city actually built a statue of him. Maybe if you clean what? up Bikini Bottom, they'll build a statue of you. Oh wait! They've already no. built of me! I cleaned up all of Bikini Bottom in only one You're married. I believe that once again, this encounter was staged by Squilliam, and he actually paid to get that statue built. As Dang. Squilliam tells Squidward about the statue, a female fish admires it and says, Bless you, Squilliam fancy sim. Bless you. But if you remember, this is one of those friends Squilliam likely paid, making her whole comment feel very fake. By the end of the episode, <laughs> Squilliam's statue gets destroyed. A police officer approaches, and they have this exchange. This is your statue? It was. Squilliam admits oh, he's gonna that ticket it's for it. statue, <laughs> not the city. And why else yeah. would the officer give him specifically a ticket if it was city? Oh, I got a BBL to the cop. Five, <laughs> In Season 6, Episode 17, Squidward watches Squilliam play the clarinet at a big fancy concert. He receives a standing ovation, causing Squidward to leave angrily. But I believe this entire concert is a scam. Not only has the audience been paid to cheer, but Squilliam never even touches his instrument. What? Once again, many of the audience members were part of Squilliam's quote-unquote friends, but we also never actually see Squilliam play the clarinet. The episode opens he right after he's finished his performance with the audience cheering, he and really one a member fan. of the audience says, He's such a great musician. He doesn't even have to touch an instrument to be brilliant. Maybe the real reason Squilliam <laughs> leaves so angrily is because the audience cheered for Squilliam even though he never even touched his hat. Maybe like, Squilliam is just as bad as Squilliam on the internet and he's trying to hide it. That's Squilliam is going to some just pretty strong mouth, lengths just to humiliate Squidward. But nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to what he does next. Evidence number six. The Music College. In the same episode, after Squidward leaves the concert, he's approached by the headmistress of the Bikini Bottom prestigious Music College. On to the esteemed Squilliam Fancyson the Third, who we all came here to see perform tonight. She mistakes him for Squilliam and offers him a position as a professor. Squidward pretends to be Squilliam and teaches a class, only for the police to burst in and arrest him, all while he's being filmed on live TV. And I believe that this is Squilliam's most elaborate and most expensive scheme to destroy Squidward both publicly and legally. This Dang. encounter where Squidward Dang. gets offered a job is already suspiciously convenient, but listen closely to their exchange. I'm Squilliam. He's so weird. But didn't you just say a minute ago that your name was Squidward Q Tentacles? 
It is. No, I mean, uh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Oh, I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? What kind of moron would go to their own enemy's what? music yeah. recital? Recital. How does she know that Squidward and Squilliam are enemies? If she knew who Squidward was, <laughs> then why didn't she recognize him? Why would Facts. she mistake him for Squilliam? This feels way too much like she was hired by Squilliam to set a trap for Squidward. And if that's not enough, she was definitely hired. His associate is literally just a guy from the paid audience wearing a disguise. He just threw on some glasses to seem smart. Squilliam Dang. knew that Squidward couldn't resist the opportunity to teach a music class, even if it meant breaking the law. My very own music class. Then we get to the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college, and right off the bat, there's something very fishy about this place. The building itself is very green and grimy and has a very cheap metal look. Nothing about this says prestigious except for the big sign on top which feels like the only new thing about this building. I think there is a very good chance that Squilliam just bought some old warehouse then stuck a sign and some paint on it to disguise it as a college. I mean, I look at these old schools in Bikini Bottom. Bar. They all have a very nice structure and a paint <laughs> job, yeah. but this prestigious music college looks like a dumpster. Bruh, Going into do. the classroom, not only does it have another one of Squilliam's friends, but if this is such a prestigious college, friends. how did SpongeBob and Patrick get in here? Yo, oh, you two Patrick is dumb. Mind telling so. me what you're doing in music <laughs> class anyway? He's so cute though. <laughs> Solution was to learn to play an instrument. They say it was his cute little smile. To take a music class, but you'd think it'd be harder for them to get into an esteemed music school if they just decided to go to it on a whim. Seems like they're just letting in anyone to sell this ruse. Then both the police, Squilliam and the headmistress, and a live news broadcast show up at the same time to arrest Squidward for impersonating Squilliam. If the extremely Dang. coincidental fact that all of these people uh, suddenly showed up at the same so time up. isn't enough for you to believe that you give this man his dream and take I've away. got something that's going to blow your mind. William literally has the police working for him. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, that's a bad for impersonating a genius. Uh, it doesn't sound like he's been paid off. Why did they all have to be I need to be a part of this. He literally builds statues. You already are, girl. Clearly. Just to make Squidward feel inferior. But why? Arrow. Why would anyone go so far to I embarrass know. an old high school band A class? Too. What happened between them? What could have caused this extreme level of dedication? He said. Unfortunately, we never oh, no. really get much information on their past. I've spent hours reading through the SpongeBob Wikipedia and looking at old episodes. He said, oh, and there really just isn't any clues <laughs> that would explain their weird relationship. I guess we can't solve everything, but either way, that's my theory. Huh? Thank you so much for listening. I, I really was hope you guys enjoyed. That See you next time. Talking about. Wait a second. I don't know what it was. Wait a second. Um, Season me... 6, Episode 5, Slide Whistle Stooges. Just a normal episode Season with SpongeBob six. and Patrick and always Squidward. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Except I have one question about this episode. Why does Squidward have Squilliam's robe? That is clearly what? not the purple robe he usually what? wears. That is Squilliam Fancy Son III's robe. Why would Squidward have this? Unless but it comes to like a they were more though. than just classmates. That's what I said. There's a relationship. Has been dating? No way. That's what I'm saying. That's not what? Is Squidward gay? Right? Oh. He seemed like it. I mean, he's so I mean, he's he's him. His underwear. Why is it? No. Uh, oh, no, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, <laughs> it would make sense as to why he went through like such great right need of us this whole time. to make him feel the way he made him feel. That's crazy. I love it. That explains why Squidward is just like he's so beautiful. Dang, that's crazy. Dang, that's crazy. What? That ended insane, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. So they they together or they was dating before? No. They definitely not they together now. Yes, apparently. Towards. Cause I was Combo is like, that too. Um, it's like he can't be happy without me. That was like the I'm first like, time <laughs> we all guess. But he had a real crush. You don't do that. Just for your regular mortal enemy. No reason. Yeah, nah. That's too much. A whole statue paying off these people to be his friend? You can't make a friend? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's insane right there. But, I love you. you guys, 
I'm gonna leave these lovely ladies link in the description, man. You know, subscribe also to my homie Rainy TV, man. You know, definitely send them some uh, you know, some heart emojis. You know what I'm saying? And uh, maybe send them the eggplants. I'm just playing. I'm just eggplants. <laughs> Wait, Don't send me one. Get the sub. Nah, Sign it out, man. You guys have a wonderful day. <laughs> That's you.